On behalf of Nanyang Technological University Singapore, I would like to extend my heartfelt congratulations to Dr. Fidel Nemenzo on his investiture as the 11th Chancellor of the University of the Philippines, Diliman. Fidel, I've been privileged to know you as a fellow mathematician, an esteemed colleague, and a friend since we first met each other in Hong Kong almost three decades ago. Over these years, I've come to appreciate your passion and commitment for what you believe in. Your vision of an institution anchored on principles of excellence, equality, integrity, and democracy, with a public mission and a focus on well-being, is a reflection of the values you espouse. You have taken on your new responsibilities at UP Dilaman at a time that the world is grappling with a pandemic which has completely changed higher education. With a combination of courage, determination, and empathy, I'm confident that you will lead UP Dilaban safely through this crisis and to great success beyond. So my warmest congratulations to you, Fidel, on your investiture and to UP Dilaman on its 11th Chancellor. On behalf of the faculty, staff, students, and alumni of the University of the Philippines, Los Baños, I wish to extend our warmest greetings to the 10th Chancellor of UP Diliman, Dr. Fidel Nimenzo. Dr. Nimenzo's academic and professional career speaks for itself. His dedication and commitment to UP Diliman and UP as a whole is inspiring. And we know that he has carried the title of Chancellor and its attached responsibilities with aplomb. Having to tackle the COVID-19 crisis so soon after his appointment in March 2020, Chancellor Nemenso is commendable for steering UP Diliman through this ongoing pandemic steadfastly and with compassion and drive. We applaud his vision of a UP Diliman that is an inclusive, diverse, and public service oriented academic center of excellence. And we look forward to working with him in making his vision for UP Diliman and our vision for UP Los Baños come to fruition. Despite our varying fields of expertise, Diliman and Los Baños share in the desire to better our respective campuses so that the UP system as a whole may be improved. We therefore take this opportunity to reaffirm our commitment of support and our pledge that UPLB will always be an ally to UP Diliman's endeavors. Moving forward, we hope that the partnership between our two campuses will continue to grow. Congratulations once again to Chancellor Nemenso. Let us keep working together to make UP better and stronger. Sangalan ng mga susunod na hinirasyon ng mga scholar ng bayan para sa bayan. Thank you, stay safe, and mabuhay tayong lahat. I would like to congratulate you on becoming the 11th Chancellor of the University of the Philippines, Diliman. I know that you will provide excellent leadership of the best research university in the Philippines. 
UB Diliman and Ehime University established a memorandum of understanding in 2007, and since then, our universities have significantly benefited from rewarding student exchange programs and research partnerships. Since signing the first agreement, more than 250 students and 50 faculty members have visited your university to study about the culture and history of the Philippines, interact with students and professors of the College of Education, and conduct practice teaching sessions at the University of the Philippines Integrated School. Furthermore, our Center for Marine Environmental Studies starts a collaboration with the National Science Research Institute. Our bonds of friendship are deeply rooted in our commitment to the pursuit of knowledge and experience spanning academic boundaries and national borders. I hope for the continuation of the cooperation between our educational communities, which enables us to solve the many challenges that are best overcome by joint action. Once again, I extend my sincere congratulations and wish you the very best as you assume this important position. Isang mainit na pagbati mula sa Ehime University. Kami po ay nagnanais na patuloy ang pagkikipag-ugnayan ng ating mga pamantasan sa pagpapaunlat ng edukasyon sa bansang Hapon at Pilipinas. Naway, malagpasan natin ang mga pagsubok na dala ng pandemia ngayon at hinaharap. Muli, Marigayam pagbati at mabuhay tayong lahat. I join with the academic community in welcoming you to the circle of leaders who are steering higher education institutions amidst this uneasy weather with the clouds of uncertainty hovering above. To be entrusted with this solemn duty brings both honor and great expectations. The University of the Philippines has been a convening ground of the country's scholars, with graduates turned great leaders and public servants in various fields. It has become a university system with campuses spread throughout the archipelago. Over the years, UP has earned the lofty status of being a model for all other institutions of higher learning to emulate. With the academic reputation of UP and the distribution of scholars located in the different campuses, a UP president must be a person imbued with wisdom and an indomitable spirit to carry on the university mission boldly, create positive ripples to the entire Filipino nation, and elevate our country among the progressive nations of the world. Your momentous ascendancy to the lofty and consequential position of Chancellor of UP Diliman since March 2020 has infused renewed vitality and vibrancy to the university system. Day by day, in every way, your vision of reimagining UP Diliman as an academic center of excellence, inclusive, diverse, and public service oriented, has become an incessant transformative force, notwithstanding the tremendous odds. As educational institutions face the challenges of the 21st century, it is my hope that with your leadership, you will bind us together with other university leaders as we pursue a common resolve for a promising future. Congratulations on your investiture as the 10th Chancellor of UP Diliman. Hello, Magandang Ala. On the occasion of the new appointment to Chancellor of the University of Philippine Diliman, I'm very happy and honored to deliver a congratulatory address. My name is Jun Otani. As a trustee for international affairs of Kumamoto University, your partner university, I wish to congratulate Dr. Fidel R. Nemenzo on your new appointment to Chancellor. As you know, we have made the agreement in 2002. Since then, the University of the Philippines of Deriman and Kumamoto University have promoted 
the academic activities and deepen exchange. And we have accepted a lot of excellent students from your university. I would like to express my sincere appreciation for the corporations. I'm sure that the future of the University of the Philippine Deliman is very promising because you have excellent administrators, faculty members, and students. Let us work harder together continuously with our warm hearted friendship. Finally, once again, I'd like to congratulate your new position as a Chancellor of the University of Philippines, Deliman. Thank you very much. Honorable Chancellor Dr. Fidel Nimenzo, distinguished faculty and staff members of UP Diliman, ladies and gentlemen, good day, Magandang Arao Sanyong Lahar. On behalf of the government of the Republic of China, Taiwan, I would like to sincerely congratulate Chancellor Nimenzo on his inauguration as the 11th Chancellor of UP Diliman. I would also like to express my heartfelt gratitude to UP Diliman for inviting my office to join this auspicious event. In the past several years, under the new South China policy initiated by the Taiwan government, more and more young and talented Filipinos have chosen Taiwan as their destination to receive higher education. According to the latest statistics, there are currently 845 Filipino students pursuing degrees in Taiwan. Compared to the figures of the 2015 academic year, the number of Filipino students has increased by nearly four times. I am pleased to inform you of the robust cooperation between our two countries, such as talented researcher cultivation there have been many graduate students from UP Diliman doing their internships in Academia Sinica in Taipei, and their performances have earned high praise from their host institution. I look forward to more student exchange programs that offer more opportunities for Filipino students to study in Taiwan. Rest assured that my mission will continue to enhance our academic cooperation and people-to-people -people connectivity between universities in Taiwan and UP Diliman. Finally, I wish UP Diliman every success under Chancellor Nemanzo's sagacious and selfless leadership. Thank you very much, Maramin Salamabo at Mapuhai. On behalf of the Ateneo de Manila University community, I congratulate Dr. Fidel Ardimenso on his investiture as the 10th Chancellor of the University of the Philippines, Diliman. Beginning his term shortly before the pandemic, Dr. Nimenso's leadership and creativity has directed the university through one of the most difficult situations our country has experienced. And I have no doubt that UP Diliman will grow and flourish even more in the future under his innovative and inspired guidance. Ateneo de Manila and UP Diliman has had a very long history of cooperation, not only in academic matters, but also in issues which affect society and our nation. We look forward to continuing and further developing this partnership during Dr. Nemenso's tenure. Our warmest congratulations to Dr. Nemenso and our best wishes for the Philippines' premier State University. Congratulations, Dr. Fidel Nemenzo. On behalf of National Chinese University, I offer my sincere congratulations to you on assuming the position of the Chancellor of UP Diliman. The two universities have been friends and partners since 2004 and have developed strong cooperation in student exchange and research cooperation. I look forward to deepening our partnership and working together to educate future talents and making a meaningful impact on society. Congratulations again. On behalf of the Embassy of the Czech Republic, let me extend my warmest congratulations to Dr. Fidel R. Menencho 
for his investiture as the 11th Chancellor of the University of the Philippines Telema. Allow me also to congratulate the UP community for this celebration. UP Telema has been one of the great partners of the FSC of the Czech Republic in Manila and we are grateful for our mutual cooperation in education, arts, literature and science among others. As an essential institution that continuously champions equality education in the Philippines, we look forward to our cooperation to deepen Czech-Philippine relations. With Dr. Namensha as the Chancellor of UP Dilemma, I am confident that our partnership will be further enhanced and strengthened in the years to come. Again, our warmest congratulations to Dr. Namensha and the whole UP community. Chancellor Namensha, Dr. Shunin, Congratulations on your appointment as the 11th Chancellor of the University of the Philippines, Dilemma. I'm Kazu Shiozaki, the president of NARA Institute of Science and Technology, also known as NIST. In 2012, a master's course student of UP Dillman, Jennifer Torres Damasco Pai, came to NIST as an intern studying material science, and she decided to pursue a PhD at NIST. This initiated the relationship between UP Dillman and NIST, resulting in our 2013 Academic Exchange Agreement, which was later extended also to the fields of information science and biological sciences. To date, student and researcher exchanges, as well as collaborations in education and research, have been very active between UP Dillman and NIST. And by the way, Jennifer is currently working in Kyoto as a research scientist in industry. NIST is celebrating its 30th anniversary this year. Looking back over the past three decades, the cooperation and collaboration with our overseas partners have been crucial to our achievements in cutting-edge science and technology fields, as well as graduate education. And UP Dillman is a very important partner for NIST, and I strongly hope that our collaborative activities will continue to flourish in the future. Our strong ties in both education and research are not undermined even during these trying times. I look forward to meeting you in person once the pandemic is over to discuss further academic cooperation and collaborations between the two institutions. Once again, congratulations, Chancellor Nemenzo. On behalf of the PUP community, I am delighted to send my warmest congratulations to Dr. Fidel Nemenzo in his investiture as the 10th Chancellor of the University of the Philippines, Dilima. This proud moment signifies hope not only for UP, but also for the broader communities as another great leader steps up to shape and advance the future of education in years to come. With this vision, excellence, and seal, the paths have been paved for UP to thrive even more and move forward in these trying times. The tangible steps he has made to steer the university into new heights amid this great difficulty in the academe have become a guiding light for the rest of us to follow. With him at the helm, UP will continue to become a bastion of academic standards, not only effecting significant change in the society, but fostering peace and preserving the good in humanity. The success of his administration is a success of the Filipino people. With this, I express my unwavering support to all of his endeavors as the new chancellor. I wish an empowered and purposeful journey as the bridge life into his plans to lead the university at its best. Once again, congratulations. Mabuhay ka, Doc Fidel. Padayon. Greetings from the U.S. Embassy in the Philippines. 
I'd like to extend our heartfelt congratulations to Chancellor Nemenso on your investiture as the 11th Chancellor of the University of the Philippines, Diliman. It's a great honor for us to participate in this. You bring many years of experience and excellent educational leadership to UP Diliman, one of the U.S. Embassy's closest partners for education exchange, collaborative research, and institutional linkages. Since the time of the first UP President, Murray Simpson Bartlett, the United States and UP have been strong education and research partners. This year, we celebrate the 75th anniversary of U.S.-Philippine diplomatic relations. One of the most important areas of partnership between our two countries is human capital development, which creates opportunities for both Filipinos and Americans. A plaque on the facade of the Chancellor's office acknowledges this historic partnership. And as the plaque states, our cooperation is a lasting contribution to the education of the youth of the Republic of the Philippines. The U.S.-Philippines education exchange relationship began in 1948 when our two countries established the Fulbright Program, the Philippines' first academic exchange. And since that time, no Philippine university has been a more active participant in the Fulbright Program than UP Diliman. In fact, when the Fulbright Board was founded in 1948, UP presidents sat as board members. One of the Philippines' strongest advocates for Fulbright was former UP president and senator Edgardo Angara. And to date, more than 230 UP Diliman faculty have studied in the United States through Fulbright. Diliman has been host to hundreds of U.S. Fulbright scholars. We thank you for your continued welcome of U.S. students and faculty. During your tenure as chancellor, we look forward to expanding our partnership through Fulbright, Education USA, and other programs that promote inclusivity and openness in education. Again, Chancellor Domenzo, our heartiest congratulations. We wish you and the entire UP system success in the years ahead. Maraming salamat. Good afternoon, Dr. Domenzo. It is my great honor and privilege to extend the dissertation from Asanori Nagagawa, our president at Chukchijiwa Peng University to you on your investiture as the 11th Chancellor of the University of the Philippine Diliman. We at Chukchijiwa Queen University hold the highest respect for the University of the Philippines, the epitome of academic excellence and social conscience in the Philippines. As you have already taken the university's leadership in the direction you have laid out in your statement of vision, we are excited to work with you your faculty members and students to jointly tackle the problems facing our contemporary societies. Associate Professor Onishi of our university has already started a working relationship with Professor Doti Abaya and Ms. Hazel Cometa Lamberte of UP to exchange ideas on children's poverty and welfare issues, which are amongst the central concerns in the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Although we were unable to meet you last year due to the COVID-19 situation, we are looking forward to the final signature exchange for the completion of the MOU and TOR between our universities in the near future. We are thrilled to work with you for the betterment of human society, especially in the Asian region, through each academic exchange we forge. Congratulations again on your inauguration as the 11th Chancellor of the University of the Philippines, Diliman. We wish you the best of health and many blessings to carry you through this important and challenging position. I am Professor Morio Watanabe, Vice President of the University, and behind me, Professor Onishi and his students. Greeting from all of us. Congratulations! Warm greetings from the University of the Philippines, Designs. I would have wanted to deliver this in person, but unfortunately, the pandemic has made it impossible. Hence, this virtual message. Chancellor Nemenzo, it gives me great pleasure to extend UPV's warmest congratulations to you on your investiture. It has been a year since you succeeded Dr. Michael Tan, and you now wear the mantle as the 10th Chancellor of UP Dilemma. Your leadership came at a critical and challenging episode in our history. Faced with the COVID-19 pandemic only days after starting your term, 
you met the challenges head on. In the dark days that followed, your steady hand has guided UP Diliman. Because of your leadership, the university has continued to thrive amidst the challenges. I am confident that UP Diliman will reach greater heights and I extend to you UPV's fraternal embrace. May the future be filled with success for you personally, your administration, and the university. Again, my sincerest congratulations. Padayo. Dear Chancellor Namenzo, I would like to send my heartiest congratulations on your appointment as Chancellor of the University of Philippines, Delamont. Like you, there are two things that have played an important role in my life. The first is a deep passion for mathematics. And the second is a strong loyalty and commitment towards the betterment of my alma mater. NUS has been greatly enriched by the long-standing relationship that it has enjoyed with UP Delamont through active partnerships in programs that have seen interaction at all levels of both our universities from students to staff. On behalf of my colleagues at NUS, I look forward to working with you to multiply and strengthen our links. I'm confident that under your leadership, the University of Philippines Delaman will rise to even greater heights of excellence. It is a pity that trouble is restricted because of the pandemic, but thanks to technology, we can still keep our relations close from afar. I'm thankful that I can still participate in your investiture in a meaningful way. Please stay safe and healthy. I hope we will get a chance to meet again soon. Thank you and all the best on your new appointment. Magadang annyeonghaseyo. I am Kwang Seob Lee, uh, the seventh president of Hanam University. Uh, Dr. Fidel Lemenjo, congratulations on becoming the 11th Chancellor of the University of Philippines Dileman. Uh, since uh, signing an agreement in 1989, Hanam University have been working actively with the University of Philippines Dileman in various areas, including students and faculty exchanges, joint conference and the lecture series. Over the years, many students from Hanam University have studied at your outstanding university. And uh, we have been very pleased to have so many of your students study at Hanam University, where we have learned much from them as well. We look forward to continuing our collaborative efforts throughout your tenure. Chancellor Lemonjo, I wish you many years of great health and much prosperity for the University of Philippines Dilemma. Salamat po. Kamsamida. Thank you very much. Hello, Dr. Nimenzo. It gives me great pleasure to learn that you have been named the 11th Chancellor of the University of the Philippines Dilemma. I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate you personally and on behalf of Academia Sinica in Taiwan. The partnership between Academia Sinica and the University of the Philippines dates back to the 1990s. Through our joint efforts, the relationship between our two institutions have grown significantly in recent years. We have signed an MOU in 2016 and held a bilateral workshop in 2018. On this foundation, I believe that we can strengthen our relationship in broader areas. When the pandemic is over, I wish we will have a chance to exchange visits. Again, congratulations for this prestigious appointment and wish us a fruitful interaction in coming years. <laughs>